Hi, I'm Wire. Welcome to Wireworks. Hi everybody, this is Wire here, Wireworks. Um, this video here, we're going to build a, um, we'll try to build a power supply uh, for my astronomy equipment. I'm getting tired of uh, running extension cords and two or three different kind of battery packs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this power switching power supply from an old ATX computer and we're going to make a uh, Different um, different voltages for the different ones I need. I'm not going to tell you what how um, what each one of these are for. There's other videos out there that tells you the voltages and how to wire this up. We're just going to go through the steps of doing one. I'm going to use this whole carrying case here. It's a little bit big for my frame. I haven't figured out how to zoom out yet with this camera. Um, be a uh, California audio listening system. I've got it. I already put some rails in here, and um, I'm going to use this and this PVC plastic um, that I had left over from doing my bathroom. This is pretty sturdy. Plus, it's easy to cut into. This is going to be a layout. of our different um, connections here. 12 volt cigarette lighter is a 12 volt meter. Uh, 5 volt USB. There'll be a 12 volt um, supply, a 5 volt, a 3 volt, and it's going to be an adjustable from 12 volts down to 3 um, that I need for some of my other equipment. I, I, my auto guider needs about five or six volts. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that for this yet. I uh, might use the auto guider on the five volts because it does require five volts. It says in the directions to, pay, to use five volts. Uh, there's going to be the on and off switch. There's going to be my power on and standby LEDs. Um, I'm going to have a, a 115 VAC plug, um, outlet as well. Um, basically this is the wiring for uh, the one uh, bus port I have up here and basically this is um schematic for all the meters for the 12 volt 5 volt and 3.3 voltage that I'm going to be doing um be a red terminal black terminal the meter will be in here everything will be parallel except for the switch that'll be um it'll be in line and this will be the um the block diagram for the um adjustable voltage that I'm going to have uh, 3 to 10, 3 to 12 volts I'm sorry, uh, the linear potentiometer goes here. This is a little um, a voltage regulator that I got off of eBay for a couple bucks. Seems to work real well. I'm just going to put that in. Anyway, um, let me um, get some of this um, hardware done first and carpentry done first and we'll be back. Okay, um, here's what we got so far. I know it's only been a couple seconds for you guys. I've been on this all afternoon. Maybe about two or three hours to do all this. I've got the, uh, the uh, switch and power supply already mounted in this case. Put a hole in the back for air. Um, actually, I haven't even tested this. Uh, last time I this worked was when it was in a computer. So well, I'm going to go ahead and test this now, make sure it's working. It all my work wasn't in vain. And uh, I got the, the front all done. It's a little rough. Uh, but I did um, cut them out just a little bit small. I'm going to file them all down to make sure everything fits in there real well. So um, let me get to this and um, I should be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, here's what we got so far. I cleaned this all up. It's a little roughed in. 
not perfect, but it'll do. Um, let me turn it this way so you can get a full picture of it. So what we have here is 12 volts, 5 volts, 3 volts, and variable 3 to 12 volts right here. And uh, also put in a, uh, a 115 uh, VAC plug just in case. This is 12 volts here on um, cigarette lighter and USB port right here. So we're good to go. Started doing a little bit of wiring on the back. So what I'm going to do is, um, what I'm going to first do is, is hook all these grounds together, then we're going to start putting everything, um, start wiring all the power to it. Still haven't figured out whether I'm going to put a um, circuit bus in here or not. Uh, we'll see as we go along. So uh, let me get to this and we should be back shortly. As you see, I can, I've got this all done, it's put together, I've got all my wires cordoned off here, so all i got to do is hook them up, and uh, we'll test it out after that. Okay, the panel's all complete, as you can see. All the wiring's done in the back. All I got to do is hook the power up to it, and uh, we'll be good to go. So uh, let me get that done, and uh, we'll put this back together, and we'll run some tests on it. I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, we're all done here. Uh, the power's on. Doesn't mean the unit is on, but there is power to this unit. Let me uh, turn the lights out here. Okay, this turns the whole unit on. You have 12 volts up here in the cigarette lighter. USB 5 volts for charging your uh, phone or your tablet. 11.7 volts here. It's supposed to be 12 volts, but this is fine. 4.9 volts here, 3.7 volts here, and this is adjustable all the way up to 10, 10 volts, down to about 3.4, and we have 115 VAC right here. I already tested these, they're putting out the same exact voltage as you see. Um, this is for my telescope equipment. Uh, like I said before, getting tired of carrying a battery out here and two and three different uh, power supplies. This should take care of everything I need. Everything, uh, telescope equipment doesn't draw no more than seven or eight amps altogether, so I think this should be fine. I will carry a battery back up just in case anyhow. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and leave comments in, below. and. Uh, I'll look out for my next one. I think the uh, next thing I'm going to do is uh, probably a radio. I'll uh, see you guys later. Have a good one. This is Wireworks.